Oh my god, I am so sorry. I I take back everything I've ever said. I'm so sorry. Can we go back to this? Oh man. Why can't Halo fans just get a win this year? Hey guys, Matt here, and today we are going to be talking about one of the worst shows I've ever seen. I shit you not, I would rather spend $35 on the Blu-ray for the Super Mario Bros. movie and $18 on the Legend of Zelda animated TV show than spend five more dollars to watch the Halo TV show. And the Blu-ray doesn't even work in my region. Now, I don't want to give this show too much shit, even though it's all rightfully deserved. So I just want to highlight some of the positive things about the show. Some of the acting is all right. The costumes and the set pieces are very well done. And some of the action scenes are overall decent. And that's where the praise ends. Now, let's just get this out of the way because you know I'm going to bring it up. So let's talk about the face reveal. Paramount completely blew their load near the end of the first episode. The first episode when Chief reveals his face to some rando insurrectionist named Quan, a character that frankly, I don't really care for. And that is a pretty consistent theme throughout the entire show when it comes to these made up characters that were put in solely for the show. And the second he took that helmet off, it pretty much stayed off. In fact, I'm pretty sure there's more scenes where Chief isn't wearing his armor than actually wearing it. The second that helmet came off, we weren't watching a show about Master Chief. We were watching a show about a guy named John. Now, the one thing that was really cool about the character Master Chief in the Halo games is that he was a character that didn't talk a whole lot and you didn't see his face. So players could project themselves as that character. Players could see themselves as the Master Chief. I don't want to see myself as John in this show. <laughs> I don't want to be seen as a whiny, anger management issued man child <laughs> who uh, also has sex with a Covenant spy. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty sure I've roasted John enough. I mean, there's not much more to say about the guy. Ooh, he has flashbacks to when he's a child and it's like, oh, what's happening? But no one really gives a shit. And he betrayed his friend who was just trying to get out of the sparring program because it fucked him up so bad. That's cool. Listen, this video is already just going to be a jumble of me ranting, so I might as well just talk about this really quick. Originally, this was going to be a deep dive into the show. I was going to go over each episode and explain in depth where they fell off, where the flaws were. But finding footage was hard as shit. And on top of that, I lost my footage due to file errors twice. It almost feels like Paramount themselves implanted something in my computer to prevent this video from coming out, to prevent me from shit talking their show. <laughs> but I digress. Let's circle back to Quan. The absolute second that John leaves Quan with Soren 066, she becomes immediately irrelevant. Her entire story does not tie back into John's once he leaves her there. It, it's just a fact. Also, all she really does is complain or do stupid stuff. All she is is a rage-filled teenager. Now you're probably wondering, what about the characters I do know? What about the ones from the, from the games? What about they're not good? 
I'd say maybe the the closest one to being like how they are in the games is Cortana. But even she's just kind of off, you know? Like, it, you have no idea how hard it was to push through this entire show. I don't even know why I really watched it other than to make this video, which isn't even going to turn out how I wanted it to. <laughs> Oh man, you ever have one like a topic that's like you can come up with the most detailed explanation of why this thing is so bad and why it just spits on the face of something that you love. But then the second you try and talk about it, you just rant. You just have an incohesive rant for like 30 minutes. This is that moment. This is that topic. I just, I need to, I need to get to the conclusion already. Right. Otherwise I'm gonna go down a rabbit hole boys. So in conclusion, there are some good things about the Halo TV show. Like I said, some of the acting isn't that bad. The set pieces are really well done and some of the action scenes are pretty cool but if you are a fan of the games this is gonna hurt to watch i can see someone who doesn't play the games enjoying this show i can even see someone who casually plays the games like you know has played a few of them maybe dabbled in the campaign a bit i can see them enjoying it too but if you're someone who is played through the campaigns, who played a ton of the multiplayer, all that jazz, you're, it's gonna hurt. It's, it's honestly gonna hurt. I am so, so sad that the show turned out this way. And I get that it's like an alternate universe thing or whatever the fuck, but it's just so far off that it feels like a spit in the face to the fans but yeah that's all i got to say so that was my rant about the halo tv show hope you guys enjoyed the video and really quick before i end this i noticed that uh about 90 percent you aren't subscribed so if you like what you see why don't you do me a favor and click that subscribe button and of course drop a like on the video and you know leave me a comment about what your thoughts are on the halo tv show thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time peace